Okay guys, so I am going to do a haul video. Um, I got some stuff from Ulta and I got some stuff from the drugstore. So I got a lot, so let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start with the drugstore stuff. Like some of it's hair care, some of it's skincare, and yes. And some of it I've already opened and used, so I'm going to show tell you guys kind of like my first impressions of some of these products. Um, so this is a new, a new um, line at Walmart. It's called Essence. It's a little cheaper than the higher end shampoos that they sell there, but it's more expensive than some of the basic brands that they have there. From the drugstore so it's right in between both this is for volume and vitality um, if you have really greasy hair you're gonna want to use shampoo that has volumizing qualities in it and I like to use dry shampoo because I only wash my hair maybe twice a week and yeah my first impression of this was bomb I love it um, I'm on my three-day hair right now and my hair is not greasy I've only had a dry shampoo a little bit today and if I, I really don't even think I needed to, but I did. So some more stuff from the drugstore. I got, I finally was able to get the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte stuff. So I bought a couple different foundations. I got 103 and 105. 103 because I'm a pretty light, but I'm tanning. So I um, got 105 in case when I get a little darker. And then I got this setting spray. I'm doing a... First impressions video on that today as well so I'm not done filming that or yeah filming that so I'll probably post that video tomorrow I'll post this one today okay moving on um, I got this stuff from hard candy I noticed that they're selling a lot of new products that I haven't got to try yet they're selling a setting spray I don't know if it's just at my Walmart but this is the first thing that I I mean this is the first I've seen of Hard Candies, new products, so, yeah. I bought this, it's called the Translucent Finishing Powder, it's white. I bought this to go in my purse for when I need to powder my nose. And I bought another e.l.f. Kabuki brush just to throw in my purse and powder my nose when I'm looking a little greasy, or if I need to touch up throughout the day. I didn't even put anything on here, but yeah. It's clear, obviously translucent, so I bought that. I bought a Maybelline um, elixir in the color Nude Illusion. Um, it's just a nice nude color. It's really creamy and nude, and I love it. And I bought a lip liner in the color Toast. And compared to that lip liner, it's a little darker, so I like to line my lips with the lip liner and then put the lip gloss over top, and it's just really cute. So that's what I do with thoughts. And then I bought another Acne Stress Control Triple Action Toner from Neutrogena. I always gotta have this. My other one's about half empty, so I needed some more of that. And then I bought some Kiss Number no. 11 lashes. These are my favorite lashes. I like the Ardell Wispies, but they don't sell them at my Walmart. So these are the next best things. I like the other ones. I just really love the band on this Kiss lashes because they're really thin. Like today I'm wearing the lashes and I have no eyeliner on. And the band is so thin, like you can't see that you're wearing fake lashes. So I really love these. And they're really, they formed my eye really well. And what else did I get from the drugstore? I got a new mascara. This is my favorite one. It's the Volume Lash Blast in the color Very Black. I like waterproof mascara, so I got one more of those. I got some more makeup wipes. I just get the Equate kind. It's nothing special. I mean, I don't buy the expensive stuff just to wipe my face and throw that wipe in the trash. I just don't think it's necessary. These work just as fine as any other higher brand makeup wipes out there. And... I like them. So yeah, I bought a couple packages of those. I saw this brand at Walmart and it's called Alba Botanica. 
Um, I've been trying to look for some new moisturizers for oily skin. I have extremely oily skin, so I thought this would work. I tried it out, and I'm not really a big fan. It has a pepper, a very strong peppermint smell to it. It's really, it has, I don't know if it has SPF in it. But it has salicylic acid in it, so it is for acne, but it's also for oil control. And it's kind of, um, it's not thick in texture, it's just like, it feels like regular lotion. And it doesn't like really sink into the skin too fast, so I don't know. I use this at night when I go to bed, because I'm not going to wear this strong smelling lotion, like during the day. It's just way too strong, but I mean, I haven't worn it long enough to really see how it works, but I do like it. I mean, the smell kind of sets me off, but whatever. Okay, so I think the rest of my stuff... Oh, I bought an under eye setting powder. Another one of these. I don't know. I barely use them, but I just figured I could use these for clients. So I bought one of those. And that is it from the drugstore. So now on to Ulta. Okay, so I bought some new lash glue. My other lash glue that I bought was getting really crusty on the cap. So I was like, okay, it's kind of, this is ridiculous. I need to buy another one. But this is, um, what is that stuff people are allergic to? I'm allergic to it. Oh, I can't think. Um, you know, the stuff in lash glue, latex. Oh my God. I'm allergic to latex. So this stuff is latex free. It goes on blue and you know it's dry when it dries clear when you can't see the blue anymore and it goes on you could dries really fast so i like this better than the two blue anyways so i got that i got some nyx matte blotting paper i got my daughter one too um yeah and i got a lip liner from palladio this is in the color natural i lost my last one I honestly do not know what happened to it. This is in the color natural. And that other color I had on that was Toast from Maybelline. They're kind of similar. This one is the Palladio one. It's a little darker and it looks a little more red. But I like them. Um, I like natural color. A little darker than my natural lip color. I just like them. I don't know. I wanted to try this eyebrow gel from NYX. So I bought one in the color Brunette. And I used it once. Um, I really like it. I'm gonna swatch a little bit for you guys. So I only you only need like a dot of this stuff. It dries super fast when you're working with, with it. But I'm gonna do an eye tutorial soon using this. So uh, there it is. And I'll go I'll, in a little while. I'll wait for it to dry, and then I'll show you guys like the lasting power of this stuff because it really isn't going anywhere. And I just love it. Like it's. It's a good brow product, and I'm impressed, Nyx. I'm impressed. So there's that. Okay, so the next thing I purchased at Ulta was a new dry shampoo, even though I got the Essence one from the drugstore. <laughs> I'm obsessed with dry shampoo. I go through it like crazy, so I got a Batiste dry shampoo, and this is in the scent coconut and exotic tropical it smells so good and I didn't like the brown um one that I got before is for brown hair uh, I didn't like it it just made my hair feel really dirty and when I wash my hair I just see, you see all this brown color coming out of my hair and it's just like ugh, gross so I got a white one again and it works fine I just don't try to spray that much into my hair but the white kind works fine on brown hair you just gotta don't go cray on it Oh, I forgot. At the drugstore, I also got this lip exfoliator from e.l.f. I don't know. I need this. You guys need this in your life if you have, like, hella chopped lips. And my chip lips? My chips. My lips are always chapped, so I have to buy that all the time. <sighs> I bought a couple, a few lip products. I really wanted to try the Too Faced Melted Metal lip glosses or liquefied metallic lipsticks. I saw some on some tutorials on YouTube so I wanted to try some and I'm gonna swatch this for you guys. And oh my god, 
love this color. I love this color. Like, look at that. Seriously? Are you freaking serious? Like, look at that. How pretty it is. I don't know. Like, the light from outside is washing it out. But it is so pretty. And I love it. <clears throat> so that was one. I got an Ulta Matte Lip Cream. And this is in the color Spirited. I really like this lip color as well. I'm going to swatch that right next to the other one. So it's just a pink matte lip color. I really like that. And then I got a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Buenos Aires. So, and this is like a peachy color. I need to get a, lip, a lipstick to put under this because it's not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be. But there it is. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, there it is on the end right here. So, those are the lip products I bought. I bought some new lashes from Ilor in the number 126. And, I mean, look at those lashes. Like, seriously? Hold on. Let me just take these out of the package for you guys so you guys can see. Because... These lashes are freaking beautiful, like, I don't know. I'm getting more and more obsessed with lashes, so, whatever's. But yeah, look at those lashes. Let me see if this will focus. Can you see that? Look at that! They're so pretty. The band is really thick, but I figure I'll wear this with some eyeliner, whatever. I bought a new crease brand, a, little, a, little, a new crease blending brush from Japanesque and they were on, they were having a sale at Ulta so I bought one. I usually don't go for these brushes but I need some more blending brushes because I'm just I just love it anyways. So it's like tapered at the end it comes to a point so it like really focuses and it's really precise. I really like this pen or this pen. I really like this brush and it's in the number 835 and it's a crease blending brush from Japanesque. So you can buy that brand at Ulta. I really love that brush. And my the last thing that I have to talk about is this Murad Oil Control Mattifier. It's a moisturizer and it has an SPF of 15 in it. Um, it comes in a little tube about the size of your hand. I have small hands. Maybe it's not all of your guys' hand, but it's the size of my hand. And it's for people with really oily skin. So I wanted to try it. It costs, it's kind of pricey. It costs $30, but I've been trying it the last <clears throat> couple days. And I really, 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 really like it. It's really thick in consistency. I don't know if you guys can see, but it kind of looks like glue and it feels like glue when you're rubbing it on but once you get it on like it's really 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 it works really good um i'm gonna keep repurchasing this because it's just bomb and i told you guys i would swatch run my finger through this nyx stuff right here okay so i'm gonna run my finger oh it's not going anywhere it's kind of wet still crazy I like to put on a lot but anyways it's just really th oh, I don't know I just love it so anyways that's it for my haul video I hope you guys enjoyed this if you guys want to see a makeup tutorial with any of the things that I showed in this video which I'm probably already going to do but if there's something specifically that you want to see me use leave it in the comments and I will do that for you this is me trying to rub it off with a wipe like look at that a makeup wipe. Yeah, it's like hard to come off. Uh, jerks. Okay, so that's it for my haul. If you, there's anything that you guys saw in my haul that you would like to see me use, leave it in the comments and I'd be happy to do that for you guys. Um, I'm going to end my video now because I'm just jabbering away and yeah. Yes! I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Bye.